This is must read the Travel Top 50, and Tyler Brule nails it every year with an eclectic observation on how we live in airlines and live in airline lounges. He joins us now from Zurich. Tyler, congratulations again on intelligence. I'm not going to waste time on the most handsome crew, TAP Portugal, but I want to know how Fin Air does it. When I went to Helsinki, you saved me on my flight back from Helsinki. How does Finnair do it? Well, Finnair uh, wins, wins a couple of awards. And good morning, Tom. Good morning, Francine. Uh, they, do, they do a couple things very well. First, they've, they've nailed this northern bridge uh, spanning, of course, Europe into Asia. They've got some 19 destinations. Um, so they've really sort of exploiting this top of the world hub that they have using Helsinki to get to points all over Japan, China, Korea, et cetera. The other thing that, that's really smart, I think this is where I saved you, Tom, is they are running A350s, wide-body planes, within Europe. And I think you rather, you rather like that. Yeah, I do as well, and I wanted to go there as well. Within your reporting, what has been the effect of the Boeing disaster? Not only the tragedy of the airplane crashes, but is it becoming an Airbus world for all your different airlines? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting question. We, we saw something yesterday. Even Iceland Air, of course, they're signed up uh, to take the Maxes. Uh, Iceland Air uh, is, in a way, has a bit of a model, not unlike uh, Finnair using uh, Reykjavik, of course, to connect Europe and North America. So they've been a very loyal Boeing customer, 757s, now a whole lineup of 737s on, on order. And we just saw in the last 48 hours, they're saying that they might move to um, Airbus A321s uh, fleet-wide. Tyler, I am so happy to have you on TV today, but next time I really need it to be to be in uh, here in the London studio so we have a proper chat. Tyler, are we going to see much more consolidation in the airline space? Well, I think we just have to look at what uh, we've heard from Lufthansa uh, probably what, in the last two days about uh, potentially snapping up part of uh, Thomas Cook's portfolio. So, so yes. Okay, how is that going to play out with travelers? Do I want an experience more than I did two years ago, or actually, how disrupted will the travel, se you know, the travel sector become? Well, I think a couple of things are happening. Of course, companies are looking at how their staff are getting from A to B at the moment, particularly in Europe. So I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on airlines um, and probably more move, more pressure for people to go uh, go to rail. Um, and I think we've seen a lot, you know, everyone likes LCCs on one side, but we also see that they're really under pressure. Um, Look at uh, Lufthansa, for example. You know, they're talking about snatching up part of the, the Thomas Cook portfolio. What are they interested in? They're interested probably in the charter carrier Condor. Condor used to be part of the Lufthansa group. Um, and I think that's probably an admission, Francine, that the LCC Eurowings isn't quite working out for them. Um, and Condor is a more loved brand. Um, Tyler, I have to go back to the um, you know top travel awards because they're great fun. So you have the classics, which are kind of you know the leading European hubs, sturdiest luggage and stuff like that. But then I'm looking at you know the best uniforms for a greeting, and you have a hotel in Paris. How you know how did you pick these questions? Um, I mean, it, listen, we want to have a bit of fun with it. We don't want to just use the normal metrics. But I think also, you know, brands today spend so much on digital. They spend so much on how are they going to engage you before you get there. But also that first experience is absolutely key. And we think that um, the Creon, uh, of course, was a high-profile acquisition by Rosewood. Um, they've really nailed it. Uh, they've gone sort of far beyond mm. uh, just going to a standard uniform company. Uh, and, and I think, you know, again, first impressions, particularly in the hotel business more than ever, uh, yeah. are absolutely uh, essential. So we want, it, we, want it, we want to have a little fun with, it, with the mix as well. Tyler, one final question. You're not going to like it. It's what's not on the Monocle list. Where's British Airways? <laughs> uh, British Airways, uh, I think, is in a bit of a muddle. I mean, here is an airline which, of course, you know, had, of course, the moniker with the world's favorite airline. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, are, are certainly voting going other places. I mean, Finnair is a good example. It's part of one world. I mean, there's a lot of people, Tom, who will just who will choose even to go to North America. People are, you know, whether they're flying through Helsinki to then find their way back to North America, adding three hours because they want they want a better experience.